How much do you know about team tournaments? <laughs> Fighting games generally have a 1v1 format for tournaments, meaning if you lose, you're either put in the loser's bracket or you're out of the tournament entirely. But what if your tournament run wasn't completely reliant on your performance alone? What if you had other people backing you up? Well then, let's talk about team tournaments. Team tournaments aren't the most common thing in fighting games, however they're generally hype occasions when they happen, as you get to see people working together for a common goal. This video you're about to watch is technically cut content from Getting Good at Gilligas Strive Episode 2, aka Goodbye Giovanna. It's not required that you watch it and the first episode, however it will give you some context on everything that's going to happen. If you decide not to watch those, and do enjoy this video though, go check those ones out after this because they're pretty similar. Anyway, without further ado, let me introduce you to the hardest team tournament in Guilty Gear Strive. Ladies, gentlemen, and others, welcome to the in-house ZBI team tournament. This tournament works on a team basis, meaning you're paired up with two other players to form a team, which you go ahead and face other teams with. Each player is divided into one of three divisions, with one being the strongest and three being the more casual players. I was placed in Division 2 as I displayed some skill in previous tournaments, which we unfortunately have to gloss over for time, meaning when I played, I would be fighting other players within Division 2, and my teammates would be players from Division 1 and Division 3. Are you picking up what I'm putting down, son? These team tournaments are mostly for fun, but it allows me to go against players who should be around the same skill level as me, and to test out and see how far I've come as a player. Tournaments started out with a drafting phase. The host would spin a wheel with everyone's name on it. If it landed on your name, you were selected as a captain for the team. Once every team had a captain, we would pretend that it's high school dodgeball and pick the strongest players we could. Who even is the tournament host anyway? Vulcanage? The Eno that kicked my ass so hard before I started this journey? What the fuck? Yeah, it turns out that Volk is one of the founding members of ZBI and a really cool guy. Remember how I mentioned that you tend to see familiar faces in the fighting game community? This is kind of what I mean. Volkanich is actually a really cool guy and the person who runs basically every event in the house of ZBI. And I can't thank him enough for bringing the UKC so much closer together. So yeah, thanks Volk. Anyway, the drafting phase started, and because I am a genius, I forgot to record the Twitch audio, so you're just gonna have to make do with the sounds of the 12-person call I was in. ZBI is a little chaotic, what can I say? Before the tournament side, there was a declaration made by one of the players. I will have the same team well, for the third time in a row. And what team is that getting you? Um, it will be me, oh, it'll be Miguel, it'll be Gecko and Gondola. Let's go! Wait, we'll fucking every, do time, it. every time, every time, baby. Fuck that shit up, every time, every time. Okay, so quick flashback, but this is actually the third team tournament I played in. The previous two have unfortunately been lost to time, but every time I played in them, I had the same team. Ladies, gentlemen, and others, feast your eyes on the best team in these team tournaments, the Free Gs. In the previous tournaments, we always managed to place pretty high up, and I would gladly bet another team tournament run on these two players. In Division 3, we have Gondola. Gondola is the embodiment of the age-old mantra. The more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. Soul bad guy expert and DP enthusiast, Gondola has no idea of the concept of neutral or blocking. The only thing he knows is how to DP and how he's gonna use it. In fact, he's so notorious for spamming dragon punches that whenever a ZBI member is watching his game, they will literally count the amount of DPs he performs. And trust me, it always goes into the double digits. In Division 1 is Gideon the Great. Gideon is one of the best Gold Louis players alive, a master of big bodies, and the undisputed King of Strive. Fuck you, rating update. This man plays his character using a PS4 analog stick. Because of this, he's known for randomly dropping half circle inputs, but this is all part of the gig. And finally, we have me in Tier 2 Division. But we don't need to go over my stuff as we've already seen how I play enough. Safe to say, getting these two on my team was a guaranteed W in my book. So I needed to do whatever I could to get them on my side. And thanks to the power of luck, that was an extremely easy way to do that. How easy? Oh, buddy, you have no idea. 
See, the way that the teams are decided is kind of like how you would pick teams in dodgeball. The TOs decide who the team captains are by spinning a wheel, and then the team captains pick people from other divisions to be on their team. This meant that if we wanted the 3Gs to be reunited, we needed a strategy and a little bit of luck. To start out, there was going to be a chance that we would be put on separate teams as captains. So we just needed to hope that that didn't happen. If it did, we needed to find the best way to guarantee that no one else would pick our teammates. But how do we do that? Well, it depends on the captains. We all sat there watching Vulcan's stream, eagerly waiting to see who the captain was. Oh, spin, spin. Come on, come on, let's do it. Oh my god, it's gonna Who's be it? me. Watch this. Oh, scatter! Oh, scatter! Oh, oh, let's go! Yeah! We do! The one exactly. in two chance. And then we have like. <laughs> what, then after that, if we get it this time, it's a one in two <laughs> chance of not Wait, having Am I the only one that's like. Can Wait, we, how is it one in three? Two three. It's Rebel! Let's go! Oh, Rebel. oh please, be, please, please be Gondolera and Puppy, that would be so good. Cool. Yeah, yeah, tier three, three, tier three, tier three, tier three. Oh! Alright, alright, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. As long as it's not Kitty oh or Gondola, oh, yeah. I am fine. Now, okay, now, now we've got the one inch to get away for. Now we need to just not get the, I don't know. Perfect. Now here's the thing. Everyone else who was picked had been from tier 3 division. And I was the only one who wasn't. As long as Gondola or Gideon wasn't picked on the next spin, we could have a plan. But there's just one problem. People thought they would be funny if all the captains were the tier 3 players. And... I kind of agree with them a little bit. Look, okay, it's just kind of silly and goofy. I don't know what to tell you. Unfortunately, I didn't go for the funniest captain select of all time, and Fate decided to look me in the eyes and smile. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Come I'm in here. Also, when I say when I say nap, also, I was getting oh, an ordinary. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? oh my, oh, my oh, god! It's oh, come on, make them tier three, please. Tier three captains, bro. Come on, it's only one. Bro, he won the wheel. He deserves that. Oh yeah, yeah he's on off. This was literally perfect, and now every other captain was a tier three player except for me, and thus a plan was formed. See, Gondola is the only tier 3 player left, and Gideon is a tier 1 player. Every other team has a tier 3 player as a captain, and I was the only tier 2 player. So if I picked Gideon as my first choice, I would be forced to take Gondola as my final player. After talking out with the rest of my soon-to-be teammates, we executed the plan, and the 3Gs were reunited once again. All we needed was a new team name. I can actually hear myself think. Team Super Super Pickle Rick. Any any um. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not against it. Uh, Super Pickle Rick. Super Pickle Rick. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of I kind of prefer Super Pickle Rick Pickle Power just because they have to say pickle twice. That's a great <laughs> idea. Ah, perfect. So quick heads up on how these matches actually work. The games are based on win count instead of who won the set. Everyone's total wins are added up at the end of the team matches. So if one team got 7 wins and the other team got 6, the team with 7 wins wins overall. This means that even if you're losing, you should still try and get as many wins as possible. First match, we were up against Team Bread, Water, and Bullets, who consisted of the most white bread characters you've ever seen. Our first match was not on stream, and thus the opposing team tried to have us play all at the exact same time. My goal just wanted to see that we were playing off stream, so we'll Park 10. Oh, Park 10? Oh, Fuck, I want to watch the matches. Yeah. What the no. Are we doing the same time thing? Fuck you, I'm making a, I'm making a room. Fuck you. Wait, I'm only playing. I'm only, I'm only playing all three at once. If there's if. If we're like delayed by two hours. Nah, I'm watching. We gotta cheer our boys on. There's no way we're all playing at the same time. I don't know what you white bread individuals are trying to do. But, uh, I get you. White I get you like white bread boring man. But yeah, like, you're, nah. you're all gonna sit there um, in silence. I get that. But you know, we we do things. No, but, I mean, mm. we're trying to be considerate. We're a real team. Time management. But yeah, but they're it's also doing the stream much at the same time though. Time it's management. It's the same thing. There's four teams in the entire tournament. It'll be yeah. fun. There you go. I made the room. Do I USA? Okay. Nah. Our overwhelming charisma and sheer brute force allowed us to actually watch our teammates' matches while they were being played. Big W for Team Pickle Rick, Pickle Power. This would also be the start of a very cool trend where other players would just join our team call. The first match was Gondola versus Poppy Rusky in Tier 3 Division. Now, Gondola hasn't been playing much Guilty Gear for the past month. In fact, he's been playing Street Fighter V. Does that matter though? Does it fuck?
Of course, this overwhelming offense was only cut short by the act of God. Whoa! Oh. Did he rage? Um, Poppy? Poppy? Uh. After arguing about it like civil individuals. Uh, All right, can we, we'd like to ask now. for the first game, though, because yeah. he, he did disconnect and we were winning. Uh, what do you mean? No, no, no. What do you mean? Bro, no, 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 no. No, no, no. You just, you just get it. You just get it. Gondola went back on his bullshit. Next up, it was me versus the then-named Fredmo. Now, Fred had actually recently changed his character as well. He was once a Ramlethal player, but he has now changed to... something else. My team thought it would be best for me to go Geo, but I needed to see how much better I had gotten. Here goes nothing. Okay, we'll play her again for a bit. Do that? That's not fair. I felt like I was playing like crap, but this is so much better than Biken right now. That's what 500 hours does to you, I guess. The rust wasn't going to just disappear though, but I could beat him. I've done it before in this set. No! The taunt vine! No! No! Oh, oh, no! 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 Oh, oh, no! What? Did you want that I fucking you had you, bitch! What? I fucking had your number! You're so lucky! You're you so tried, lucky! Uh, You're so carried! Christ, you have I the can't you believe you just so lucky! lucky. Yeah, so, uh, I... I had the taunt button bound for when I was getting shots for some green screen stuff, and I, um... I forgot to unbind it. I'm... I'm going to unbind it now. With my admittedly preventable loss to Fred Mode, the score was now 4-3 going into the final round. If Gideon won two matches, it would make the game completely even no matter what, which should secure as a victory. Uh, I, I, I think I don't actually know the rules on that one. He just needs to bring this back. And his opponent is a Kai player known as Sacred Sword. Now, I haven't shown a lot of the audio graph from this video because it's... Chaotic to say the least, but trust me when I say that the Discord layer was consistently full with audio when this match was happening, and most of the talk was unanimously about Kai being stupid and fucking broken. But this didn't stop Gideon from going crazy.
Kitty and managed to pull the match back 2-2, meaning that we were guaranteed to tie at least. Well, I mean, you know, the opponent was playing tie, so like, it's whatever. At least we still had a tiebreaker. Now I set down as the tiebreaker. Bruh. Just like how landlords are in real life, what was rightfully ours was snatched under us without us being able to do anything about it. I would say that this was unjust bullshit, but I did lose my set and there was still a loser's run to go through. Because of the loss that definitely wasn't my fault, we found ourselves in loser's round one. If we wanted a shot at redemption, we would have to get it by crawling through the loser's bracket. After definitely making sure that my taunt bot was unbound, we remiss as a group on our matches that we just played. But you know what I'm saying? It's all Gecko's fault. Yeah, it's my fault. I'm sorry, guys. I shouldn't have bound my taunt <laughs> button. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. Do you want to know how I lost the final match? He taunted mid combo. I, I had him in the fucking corner, I was doing my bombos, I accidentally hit the top button. You taunted and lost by mistake? Yeah, it was an accident. Yeah, man, you got Hey man, what the scum? You guys deserve to lose. Look at this idiot on your team. Bruh. You deserve this loss. Yeah, we better win because that's that thing that is going to stick if we don't. After that, we went right into our next match versus Team Samurai Boobs. So you can tell what kind of individuals we're going against. It was also at this point where people from other teams were just refusing to leave our call at this point and were hanging out in the team chat, making deciphering everything being said even harder. But hey, any VC with the three Gs in it is apparently the place to be, so we'll take that as a win. Once again, Gondola was up to bat first and just absolutely demolished this poor, poor Baikon. I really wish the commentary in the call reflected this, but people were obsessed with talking about Baikon and Giovanna's assets for most of the match. And might I add, nobody talking about it was actually in Team Pickle Rick Pickle Power. To Gondola though, it didn't matter. And that's another easy free O. Oh, thank you, Gondola, for being Pickle Rick's rock. And with that, I was up next. I switched back to Baikun, as this is still the training arc, and I had to fight Alf, a really good Nagoriyuki player. Now, at this point, I'm still very much in my spaghetti phase of playing. If the random taunt in the middle of the combo didn't already show you that, but I was at least still able to perform with my suboptimal pressure and situations in order to take the first round. Of course, because of my luck, the reversal super didn't kill, but I did hit him with a footsies. The second round doesn't go as well to start with, but then I remember a valuable piece of information my team told me earlier. Oh, he pure, he, he wires in so much, by the way. This actually put me up in set count. Reminder, the win condition is to have more rounds won than your opponent at the end. So this is a big dub for Team Pickle Reg Pickle Power. The victory is short-lived, however, as Alf absolutely runs me over. After confirming I wanted to stick with Baikun, we went back into the match for round three. The first round of match three fluctuated like crazy. 
of it being in my favor than it wasn't, then it very much was. These matches were much closer than I expected, but I got a really good read on round start and definitely didn't fail a burst bait. I took the momentum and ran with it into a perfect, and now I was up two to one. If I won, we literally cannot lose. Even if we lose two more now, Gideon only has to win two matches in order to win the set. This is looking really good. I won the first round going into match four, and he won the second. He takes that momentum and goes crazy in round three, but there's one thing he fucked up on. He didn't kill me when he had the chance. The set score was now 6-1, to one, meaning that no matter how Gideon performed in his match, we had won our losers round one match and were able to qualify. But that didn't mean we weren't going to play the match out, like, come on. No, in fact, Gideon decided to let someone very special play. It's Santander Steve! He's the best Axel in the world! Would you like a fucking SIM card? We won the team set 9-3, to three, practically perfectly sweeping Team Samurai Boob. Don't worry about Santander Steve's performance. This meant that we were in losers round 2. If we won the next match, we had a shot at winning the whole tournament. And if not, well, at least we're not last, you know? Our next opponent was Team Waifu Hunters. You have got to be kidding me with these names. Since this was technically losers finals, we were finally on stream. However, due to the fact that some players just kind of refused to leave the stream lobby, I wasn't able to make it in time to watch Gondola's set. I will use this artist's rendition to show you what happened. And just like that, we were once again ahead 3-1 to one, thanks to Gondola just being fucking insane. Street Fighter player, by the way. My opponent was Acid G, who was playing Potemkin. I've made it known in the past that I have a bit of a disdain for big body characters, but this is a learning experience, and I have the call of people gassing me up while I play, so I should be okay, right? <laughs> Do what you want, man. I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, play, I'm gonna play by one more, and if it's like, if it's dire. Huh? Ooh, we'll go, we'll it's bring out the big We'll bust out the deal. You, you gotta believe in the bike at least a bit.
Once again, I was up 2-1, to one, meaning if I won, we were guaranteed to make it to Grand Finals. If we lost, Gideon had a pretty good chance of still clutching it. I took the momentum and went crazy with it, getting a massive life lead and checking his barrier with a 2k. I took the momentum, ran with it, and suddenly the match became even. With that, I had one more chance to take it. Once again, since the set was secured as a win, we sent in the mad lad Santander, Steve. Did you know you get a free speaker with your new fucking phone contract? Buy a fucking data plan! And with that, we had secured our place in Grand Finals. And, of course, the team waiting for us was none other than Bread, Water and Bullets. We had crawled our way back out of the loser's bracket and had earned our spot in Grand Finals, facing off against the team that had knocked us down at the start of the tournament. Unfortunately for Team Stale White Bread, we were not the same players we were an hour and 13 minutes ago, and we were ready to fucking play. Having basically everybody in the fucking tournament crammed into our team's VC, we began the final match of the tournament. Of course, first up to bat was the GOAT Gondola, and I could regale you with the tale of how we struggled valiantly, how we fought to the bitter end in order to just survive his match. But if you expected that, then you obviously haven't been paying attention this entire video, because Gondola doesn't fuck around. Gondola literally didn't lose a set the entire fucking tournament. Man is literally the goatiest goat, and I will not be taking questions on this. He has secured us another lead, winning the whole set 3-1. And while Puppy took this as a W, as it wasn't a 3-0, it made my job again a lot easier. All I had to do was win the set, and they literally cannot beat us. I switched my character back to Giovanna, and get some encouraging words from my teammates. It's me. It's I forgot. Get that tongue bone unbound. Okay, right. Right. It's all right. It's unbound. No, I'm no, gonna. No. I'm actually gonna double check no, 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 real quick. Actually, double check his eye. Unbound your tongue bone. All right. It's unbound. It's unbound. It's unbound. <laughs> With that, it was time to start the match. Oh well. It was time for Fred to try and fix his lag. Unfortunately, sometimes things beyond your control happen, and you have to either really find a quick way to deal with them, or you have to suck it up and stick it out. Fred's connection wasn't exactly the most stable, and sometimes the games would stutter and feel like crap to play for both of us. He takes the first match, which I really didn't want him to do, because complaining about lag when you're losing makes you look like a scrub, but there wasn't much I could do, unfortunately. We just had to power through and go on to the next match.
Yeah, just keep, just keep doing it until he stops it. And then, uh, and then throw it. I'm in the pool! <laughs> <laughs> I unger. I bunger. Shit! XP, um, price. Strikes. He throws. Hey, what character? And then he throws. So. Oh, oh, okay. Get okay. <laughs> go! <laughs> and just like that, we were up 6 oh, to 2. Man. Gideon literally couldn't lose the set even if he went 0 and 3, meaning we would win grand finals no matter what. And after that, well, I guess we'll find out. Because we literally couldn't lose, we decided the best course of action was to try and sell Sacred a new phone contract with unlimited calls and texts and free gigabytes of data for $2.99 per month. And then we were given news about how the bracket was going to work. Whoa! Go, go, go! Remember, there is oh, no bracket reset! Wait, is it oh, not? The answer is not. I guess not! Did we win? Oh, cool. Let's go! Let's go! go. We won the whole thing? We fucking did it! We used the final match as a victory lap, because let's be honest, no one gives a fuck about Kai players doing well, and just decided to chat shit and make memes. And just like that, we were dragged into the commentator's booth for an interview. Oh, oh fuck, I've been moved. Go <laughs> <Pickle Rick. laughs> Woo! Pickle Pickle power! Pickle power! Super pickle Rick! Pickle pickle power! Pickle power! Congratulations to you guys for your win. Thank you, thank you, thank you to you. Amazing. Uh, all right. I literally never felt this good in my life. Uh, I'd, li I'd like to thank the academy. I'd like to thank uh, Steve, did my mom and my dad for giving me an arcade stick when I was two years old. I would like to thank uh, the bird that's in the other room that didn't stop chirping. As as much as you know, you guys stomped everyone apart from um, your first match against Breadwater and Bullets. Who do you think was your hardest opponent then? Who do you think was the scariest team that you fought? One button. Yeah. And then the tournament was over. While this wasn't the first and definitely won't be the last ZBI team tournament, it is the one that everyone in ZBI brings up the most, and it's the one that I personally am the most proud of. I had an amazing time with everyone in the call, and while I didn't exactly learn a lot from my matches, it was just fun playing with people and having people who had my back all the way through the bracket. My victories felt earned, and the losses didn't sting as much. And it was extremely funny. Thank you to everyone in ZBI. Special thanks to Volcanage for setting up the team tournament, and a massive thanks to Gideon and Gondola for carrying me all the way through to Grand Finals and helping us get that win. And thank you all for watching. If you want to see videos like this, please go check out my Getting Good at Guilty Gear Strive series. It's very similar to this, and I think it's the best thing I've ever made. Very special thanks to 64MHz, Brudica, Daniel Wiedereck, Games.png, Lady Dentaland, Maki Yamazaki, Melodically Me, Monact Proxy, Smeech, Super, Straw Fox, and Tom Tanks for being tier 2 patron supporters.